getting a first look tonight at new evidence filed by prosecutors in Caitlin Markham's death almost a year after her fiance was indicted for her murder. WLWT obtained copies of all six rounds of discovery. Prosecutors released through the uh, defense team and WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live right now Butler County with a look at all that evidence. Hi there. Well, good evening, Mike. After John Carter was indicted for murder, Prosecutor Mike Moser said just because there was an arrest in this case, that does not mean the investigation stops. And tonight we are getting a look at what prosecutors have been working on since last March. 35 year old John Carter remains out of jail after posting a $1 million surety bond while he awaits trial. He's accused of murdering his fiance, Caitlin Markham, in 2011. It took almost two years for her remains to be found in a remote area in Cedar Grove, Indiana, which is about 30 miles from where Caitlin lived in Fairfield. Prosecutor Mike Moser previously revealed some evidence they had on Carter, such as these poems found in his mother's home. I know I'll bury the body in the backyard. No, I'll bury it under the trailer. They were in a binder with his name on him. Some had his name on, some did not. Now we are learning about more evidence filed in this case. Since last summer, 107 pieces of tangible evidence or documents have been handed over to Carter's defense team. They include photos and videos from the Sacred Heart Festival on August 13th, 2011, the day Caitlin was last seen alive. Photographs of John Carter's handwriting, a computer forensics report from BCI of Caitlin's MacBook, screenshots of Facebook conversations between Caitlin and a person only identified in court documents as RE, cell phone records for multiple people whose names haven't been disclosed, bank statements, a search warrant from property in Laurel, Indiana, owned by Carter's father, and a TikTok video posted by someone with the screen name Milky T, a person who frequently posts about the case. Carter's defense attorneys have not filed a single motion to suppress any evidence in this case. So as it stands right now, this trial will start as scheduled on June 24th. Reporting live tonight in Butler County, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thanks so